Hey students, today I want to talk to you about shading. Um, when you're working with three-dimensional objects to make your drawing look a little bit better, you can always add shading. And the first thing that you want to do when you're thinking about shading is decide where your light source is going to be. So this is going to be my light source. The sun is going to shine down on my objects. And it's going to shine down on each of the objects that are in my picture, right? And the side of my object that is opposite from the sun would be this side right here. This side is completely on the opposite side, so it's going to get more um, of a dark sh shadow on it because it is not receiving very much, if any, of that sunlight. So we're going to shade that in very, very dark. Now, the side that gets the most amount of light would be the side on the very top of my object right here. But then the side that gets kind of a medium amount would be right here, right? So I'm going to choose a medium value of shading and I will shade in that section a medium value if you're using just pencil and paper which most of you are you would just not press as hard with your pencil to get a medium value of shading and there I have three different values I have light then I have medium then I have dark hey what if I want to create some surface for my object I'm going to go back to my dark value and I'm going to create a shadow so I'm going to use straight lines there and then I want to match this uh, angle back here shade in that shadow and I have just created some surface for my object and it looks like it's casting a shadow now let's talk about this cylinder here okay the cylinder is round and so um, instead of just having a shadow that has a clear edge where everything stops, I'm going to have a shadow that curves around the object. I'm going to go ahead and select the next value. So this is actually easier to do with pencil and paper than it is to do with our tablet here. As that curves around, it's going to change values. And You're going to end up with a very nicely shaded cylinder. Now let's say we want to go back and add that shadow. We're going to do straight lines again. Except for here, we're going to add a curve. And now I just created shading and surface. How cool is that? Okay, go draw it.